Happening right now on the south side, a community vigil to remember the life of a two year old who drowned last night. Melanie Mixon was reported missing from a Jacksonville apartment complex. Her body later found in a retention pond. And tonight we're looking at the laws and solutions drowning prevention advocates are pushing for to prevent this from happening. Our Jessica Clark is on your side tonight from the south side apartment complex where Melanie's body was found. It was here at the Bennett Creek Apartments last night, so Tuesday night, when Jacksonville Sheriff's officers arrived for a call about a missing child. During their search, they found her. She's just two years old, Melanie Mixon. She was in the retention pond on the property. She was taken to the hospital where she was pronounced dead. The child was only two years old, found after hours of searching for her. Police found her Tuesday night in a retention pond in Bennett Creek Apartments off of Bowden Road in Jacksonville. She was pronounced dead at the hospital. This shouldn't be happening to another family. Uh, Michael Haggard is an attorney in Florida, and he's also on the board of the National Drowning Prevention Alliance. He says retention pond deaths in Florida are on the rise. He said the solution to reducing that number, make fences around retention ponds mandatory. They already are for swimming pools. In fact, in Florida now, residential pools have to have gates and barriers if they're built after 2001. And, and we should have the same thing for retention ponds and, and different drowning prevention groups have brought that to the legislature. But to no avail for retention ponds. Why? Because apartment owners think that the, you know, the, the aesthetics are more important than saving a child's life. And we know that barriers and gates work. Uh, they absolutely prevent drownings of, of small children. First Coast News did contact the management of the apartment complex where Tuesday's incident took place. They said they'll work with the proper authorities and when asked about setting up a fence or gate around the pond, we were told that conversation is going up the ladder. The city of Jacksonville has a policy that says retention ponds on property that's owned by the city or managed by the city has to have a vegetative buffer of about five feet around the edges of that pond. Now, that did not apply to this situation, of course, because this is a, a private property, an apartment complex. In Jacksonville, Southside, Jessica Clark, First Coast News, on your side. And so far, police have not revealed how Melanie made her way to this retention pond.